Proverbs chapter number 10. Look at verse number 20. <laughs> Look what it says. The tongue of the just is as choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many. Hmm. But fools die for want of wisdom. The blessing of the Lord, it make it rich. And he added no sorrow. Now, if I use this tongue of mine, the Bible said that I could feed many. Now, now watch this now. Because I would have spoken prosperity into my life. See, you can't feed many if you don't have nothing. You can only feed many if you got much. And then he goes on to say the blessings of the Lord didn't make it rich. And he added no sorrow with it. Whoo, praise the Lord. Proverbs chapter 12. Proverbs chapter 12. Now, how many, how many of you are, are, are guilty of this? <clears throat> Listen to me now. How are you feeling? I'm fine under the weather. How you doing? I feel a little sick. What's happening to you? I'm catching the flu. What's wrong with you? I'm running a fever. How many of you are guilty of that? Come on, be truthful. All right, all right, all right, all right. Look at verse number 18. Proverbs chapter 12. Verse 18, there is that speaketh like the piercing of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is what? The Amplified says in the last part of that, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. So instead of saying, I'm running a fever, how about you saying, I'm running well? I'm blessed of the Lord. I'm healed and delivered from sickness and disease. So instead of using your tongue to say what's negative, why don't you use your tongue to say what God said? Because the Bible says your tongue brings healing to you. Psalms 4. Psalms 4. Make it Psalms 8, 8, 8. Psalms 8. Watch this, watch this. Wow, watch this. Now, you, remember, I just made the statement that people say, I'm fine under the circumstance. And we don't, first, we don't think nothing about it. We just say, we just say I mean, we just say, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine under the circumstances. Now, watch this. Y'all want to see something? Look at verse number 6. Psalms 8, verse number 6. Watch this. Thou madest him, man, to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put how many things? Oh. Why did he put all things? Okay. He says, he made us a little lower than the angels. In verse number five. Now, angel is translated Elohim. That God has made us a little lower than Elohim himself. He has given us dominion. I received that. He has given us dominion over everything that he's made. And he placed everything that he's made where? Under our feet. Now, here's the point I want to make. Why is it then that you say, I'm fine under the circumstance? When God say he has put everything already under your feet. So, 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 so why the contradiction? If God say he placed everything under your feet, why are you under it? Because of what you just said out of your mouth. That's why you're under. Because you said it. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Somebody's going to get this. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, uh, Proverbs 16. Proverbs 16. Proverbs 16. Look at verse huh, number 24. Proverbs 16, verse 24. You ready? Pleasant words are as honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. What is sweet to the soul and health to the bones? Again, what is sweet to the what? To the soul and help to the bones? Okay, watch this. Woo! Watch this. Okay. That's why you ought to set an atmosphere in your house that pleasant words only comes out. That there won't be no cussing and fussing because those are not pleasant words. And he says... If you speak pleasant words in your home, watch this. It's sweet to the soul and health to the bone. Proverbs 15. <laughs> watch, watch this. Verse 1. Come on. Watch this now. A soft answer turneth away wrath. But grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. Look what he say. He says, pleasant words are sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Here he says, a soft answer will turn away wrath, but grievous words will stir up anger. He says, God is watching us because he says, eyes are everywhere, beholding the evil and the good. What you say out of your mouth, God is watching that. <laughs> I like that. I like this. It's just stuff. It's just. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Proverbs 22. Have you ever been around people who, who talk negative? I mean, uh, it makes you now you want to be around them. It's like, man, there, there they go again. They already know that you're going to start talking crazy. Proverbs 22, verse 11. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> he that loveth pureness of heart, for the grace of his lips, the king shall be his friend. What? Look, because my tongue is ordered right, the king, those in authority, will want to be my friend. Because I ain't always speaking negative. Amen. You know, some people just don't want to hang around folks just because of what they say out of their mouth. Mm -mm -mm. Proverbs Look at verse 11, Proverbs 29, verse 11. Look what it says. A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it till afterwards. The Amplified says, a self-confident fool utters all his anger, but a wise man holds it back and steals it. <laughs> 